My name is Nicoline skuman Low, and I'm an attorney, conveyancer, notary public and mediator. I practice as such here at Skuman Law Incorporated, based in Cape Town, South Africa, where we proudly serve the legal needs of the entrepreneur. Today we'll be unpacking Triple BE, or Broad-Based Black Economic Empowerment, with a specific focus on complying with the ownership component of the Triple BE scorecard. If you have not watched our introductory video to how the scorecard works and on a high level how all the regulations work, please do so. The video is on our YouTube channel as well as on our Facebook page. With the last amendments to the regulations, we saw that the ownership component under the scorecard became a compulsory element for QSEs and generic organizations. This means any organizations wanting to or needing to go through a formal BE verification would need to comply with this component. If they fail to do so, they would be penalized by a level. This means if your verification results in a level 4 contributor, you may then, if you score below the threshold, be penalized by a level and as a result only score a level 5 or perhaps even lower. Of course, this will all depend on the overall compliance. So, the ownership component, notably also the most challenging for many businesses to comply with, is the one that needs the most careful consideration. So, there are a number of uh, options when it comes to compliance. Of course, the most obvious being a transaction involving a private person or a direct equity transaction. In other words, transacting with someone to become a partner or a shareholder. Similarly, you could also set up an employee share scheme or broad-based trust. Now, broad-based trusts need to comply with very specific regulations and have become quite contentious in terms of some practice notes and as well as some notifications issued of late. So if the election is to set a broad-based trust up, it needs to be done with careful consideration and with in the back of one's mind that there is a likelihood of regulations changing in the foreseeable future and needing to adapt to that when and if that happens. The employee share scheme um, often set out in a trust format is a powerful tool if applied correctly. Similarly, these uh, trust structures or empowerment structures that hold equity on behalf of a group of beneficiaries can take different forms and be applied in different ways in order to embody a broad-based approach. So many of these structures do not only benefit through the dividends obviously being shared with the beneficiaries of such a structure, but it could also facilitate training and skills development and potentially even have a philanthropic or non-profit component. So these could be multi-purpose vehicles are seen with an objective of a holistic empowerment solution. Now, of course, how this looks and how it works would depend on the business concerned and what your objectives are from a transformation point of view and naturally to observe all the regulations involved. So there's no one stock standard solution that we can propose and say, this is how you comply with the ownership level. Um, there are multiple ways in order to ensure compliance. One needs to ensure that the uh, equity linked to whether it is a structure or a direct partnership is unencumbered, that debt is kept to a minimum, and that, of course, the shares or the equity has all the rights and duties and privileges, of course, ascribed to all other um, shares of a similar class, or if there are multiple classes, that there is an element of equity and equality in how this is dealt with. And of course, they, this is a well, quite a complex topic, and this is really just scratching the surface, hoping that it will help you think about your empowerment and transformation in your organization as a holistic solution, as opposed to something that is only a compliance matter. 
For more information about this, please go to our website. We've got a lot of free resources available there, ranging from podcasts to articles. You can find this at www.skumanlaw.co.za. We also run an online legal platform called the SME Self-Service Desk, which is an online contract builder. And it uh, actually includes your BE affidavits published by the BTI, where you can generate them, easily populate, not to worry about incorrectly completing it, and then have it commissioned in front of a commission of us. This can be found at www.skumanlaw.co.za forward slash online legal services for more information, or you can navigate to www.skumanlaw.com to access the platform directly. Thank you for joining us today. We hope to speak to you again soon.